Hi, I'm Andre. I'm going to show you how to make this physics-based sliding door. So let's see how it works. So we can open and close it using a certain key. And if we put objects in its path, it's going to push those objects out of the way. And as we'll see here, it will also stop it, the objects blo block it. And if we remove the object, then it continues closing. So let's see how we can implement this. So we're going to use a physics constraint that is going to limit the door movement on the horizontal and it's going to make it want to come to two locations. One which is, is going to be here for the open and one is going to be here for the closed. So let's create an actor. We'll use two cubes for the walls. Like this. And we'll duplicate it for the other one. Like that. And we'll use another cube for the door. That we're going to call door. Like this. Now let's move this one out of the way so it doesn't collide with the door. Okay, so now we've got, we want the door to be sliding on a horizontal direction, but to stop somewhere over here and over there. So we'll use the physics constraint for that. Okay, and here we'll leave the first component empty, which will uh, make it uh, connected to the physics, uh, the, the actor itself. And the second will point the door. Like that. So, in order to limit the movement, we'll limit everything and just unlock the movement on the x-axis. And we'll put this to limited and to 150 units. So this will leave it, it will permit it to move 150 units. So one meter and a half to the left and one meter and a half to the right. And because this has three meters, because the cube has one meter and we've put uh, um, size of three here then this one is three meters wide. So it's gonna be moving from this, this extremity will be from here to here. I'm uh, sorry, from here to here. Okay, so let's try this out. We'll just drag this in, we'll rotate it. And we'll just drag it up a bit. And yeah, we forgot, so the door has to simulate physics like that. So let's try this now. So as you can see, normally when it reaches the limit, it stops dead. But here, because it's colliding with this, it's bouncing back. So if you don't want it to bounce back, just pull this further away. Okay, so now we want it to stay in a certain location using the force. So for that, we're going to use in the physics constraint here, we're going to use a target uh, linear motor and a position target and a velocity target. So we'll activate these on the X axis. The position target will use a force to keep it in a certain location. And we'll put this force to 200 and the velocity target will use a force to limit its velocity. So this will put to 20, let's say. So the velocity target we're just using so we don't, uh, so it doesn't bounce, it doesn't wobble when we move it. So if you try again now, we pull this, as you can see it comes back. 
Now what we want to define is the, the position where it wants to stay. So one will be here and the other one will be there. So one will be for open, the other one for close. So in order to do that, to command it using the a certain key, I've implemented uh, an interface call in the, the player. So when we here, what we're gonna do is go to class settings and we're gonna implement that interface. It's called use, I underscore use. So when we implement it, it gives us an event use like this. That is going to be called each time we look at the door and we press the E key. So here we're going to make it open and close. So for that we need a variable that we're going to put here called closed. Now this variable will remember the state of the door. So by default will be it will be open because this is false. So this is going to dictate the values of the location of the door. So we'll put one in for closed here, somewhere at 150, and one position here, minus 150. So let's see. So this, we're going to select this, a float. So if closed is true then it's gonna so pick a so here for the closed i'm sorry about that for close it's 150 let's just actually we'll put this back okay let's add the select again so here it's gonna be 150 and here minus 150. So how do we tell it to stay in one location? Well, we're going to change this, the linear motor position target. So we'll put, we'll take the physics constraint and we'll set linear position target like this. <coughs> Like that. <coughs> so we'll plug this into the X. So now when we push E, it should work, but it doesn't. And the problem is <coughs> that the door in, in the meantime, the door is actually going to sleep. So we're going to have to wake it. So when it's going to sleep, it's not going to update its uh, physical position. So we're going to call wake rigid body on the door. So if you try again now, it should work. So I push E again. Yeah, so it doesn't go back. And that is because we actually haven't changed this value. So once we close it, uh, remember by default it's open. So once we close it, we want to negate this and write it back here. So we're going to set the closed like this to closed negated like this. So now we should see it change states. So as you can see, it opens and closes like it should. Now, <coughs> if we so as you can see, it works. Now, here, um, what we want to do now is um, we want to set it because if you look here, it's set to be uh, somewhere in between. That's because the physics constraint, uh, when we set the limits, here it only lets us set the limit uh, symmetrically, left and right from its position. So we have to actually leave it here. But we, when we start the game, we want it to be either closed or open. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to set its linear motor 
uh, position target and set its location, its relative location. So because the door is not parented to anything, but it's parented to the, the actor, but it doesn't matter. The thing is we cannot set the its relative position because it, it will take it as a world position because it doesn't have a parent component. So we're gonna have to set it um, by the world location and uh, convert the local to world. So we'll set here, set world location like that. And here we'll get the actor transform and we'll say transform location so this is actor to world so here we're gonna have the I'll just get rid of these we're gonna have the relative location and it's gonna be transformed into world so we're gonna set the world location now here the relative location it's going to depend also on the closed uh, value okay so let's take it like this and I'll actually split this here and we'll plug in to the x axis so now when this is closed when uh, the default vol value is false, so it uh, will take minus 150 and we'll set that location. So let's see this. So what we saw actually is that it jumps here. Now that's good, but we also wanted to want to set the position target to that one. So we'll take actually this one like that and normally we should have the same thing so we'll take it from here because it's, this is the local local coordinate these are these are world so we need local for that and this will plug in the physics constraint like that so if we do this again well we see that we have a problem actually so when we start, it actually goes here and instead of going the other way. And that is because, I don't know exactly why, but the physics constraint uh, actually has its axis flipped. So instead of the x-axis going that way, the positive, it goes that way. So what we have to do is here, we're going to have to flip those. So we'll multiply with a float which is going to be a minus one like that so plug this in so we're actually changing instead of putting 150 we'll put a minus 150 and that is because the axes of the physics constraint are flipped so if we try again as you can see it teleports here and if we close it it works as it should and if we put an object in its path like that as you can see it works we can remove it we can pull it open and um, it works so that's it if you like this uh, please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video